so first part of the trip, just pulling out. And, um, I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. I mean, a solo trip should be good. I mean, there's a lot. Biggest thing is, uh, there's, there's so many things to think about. When you have another person, you've got a couple eyes, and they can help remember things, and it's, um, it's one of those things where, geez, if you have to do it all by yourself, well, <laughs> it becomes a little more stressful. Once, I, I'm hoping, once I get going, that um, get into the swing of things, because when I'm on the road, it's like, okay, yep, I'm on the road. So, swing of things, you know, it's like, oh, that's right, this is, this is all right. It's just going down the road. It's officially off season in Cape Cod, which is great because basically all the beaches are free to park and get access to, which is a lot of fun. And uh, considering I had some time on my hands, there's also the fact that I wanted to use up some of my Thousand Trails membership before the year ended. So that's what brought me to Cape Cod. Not knowing what to expect really because it was the only place I could really get any sort of reservations uh, late in the game. So I popped out here and now enjoying a bit of the Cape Cod scenery. And I'm gonna bring you along uh, on this adventure, basically to take a moment and take a step back and give you some scenery that you might not be seeing and really look at how things are going when you're not tuned into all the mess of everything that's going on. If you just take a step back and you go into just normal everyday things, a lot of the mess that we're in kind of fades away. The day-to-day -day kind of takes over and it's not just a matter of ignoring things. It's that, hey, um, you know, if you want to do something like even have a kid, some people say. wait for the perfect moment to, let's say, have a kid and it's just never going to happen. Like you never have really the perfect moment. You just have your kid when it when you can. And the same thing goes for big ideas, I think, is that you go out there and although there are gonna be obstacles and there's no ever, there's never going to be a, basically a perfect time to do much of anything, especially the big stuff. It always seems like there's more to prepare, more when to do. When you look past all that, you realize there is no perfect time and you should just go ahead and do what you wanna do. And when you do that, the synchronicity kind of steps in your favor. And basically it favors the bold um, and taking some initiative to things will we'll mean you'll meet some different people, you'll come into situations that are really going to help you. So, coming to Cape Cod, I'm doing a little mini for me. I'm doing what I would consider a little mini writer's retreat. And I'll give you some information on the ideas behind taking a mini writer's retreat if you wanted to do one of your own. And basically, I, I find that writing itself uh, really allows me to get ideas from my head to paper. And in the process, I see epiphanies more clearly and can review things and get it out of my head so it's not clogging my head and new ideas are able to come in. And it's really a process for anything creative, no matter what you're doing. Writing is a foundational element, especially free writing. Um, you know, Morning Pages, Julia Cameron made that popular. I saw that in the 90s. Um, and for me, you know, free writing, writing down the bones, Natalie Goldberg, uh, those are two great resources for basically getting uh, into the idea of free writing. And some people call it automatic writing, whatever it might be. And when you do a retreat, I find it best to start just initiating a habit of doing that on a regular basis. And when you do that and you review what you've written on a regular basis, you can come upon epiphanies that you might not get otherwise. Uh, it really allows your ideas to come out of your head and the review process is key because some people just free write and then that's it. You really need to review it on a regular basis and bring kernels of truth together, golden 
the nuggets that basically you wouldn't uh, normally see are all within your writing. So you go ahead and free write and then review on a regulated basis and you can do writing prompts too, not just free write like whatever on paper, but take a prompt for the day, um, you know, such as an idea like freedom. Uh, put freedom at the top of the page and just start writing what it means to you and just keep on writing and writing and writing and writing and it's amazing what kind of ideas can come out Real from for me a writer's retreat is to get away from all the usual uh, distractions and parameters and so on and it really allows uh, life to feel in a different way and you see it from a different perspective and when you write about what you're seeing it allows you to see your life from a different uh, vantage point. If you're stuck in your usual routines and you have the usual triggers around you all the time, you don't really get a chance to um, have that same you know, uh, perspective. You don't get a chance to step away and see things from a different angle. And in that sense, it can glean a lot of truths that you wouldn't get otherwise. So I highly recommend it. But what I'm going to do is kind of hopefully tie together some things while visiting some lighthouses in Cape Cod um, and some different beaches. I got Mayflower Beach and more there's a first contact beach which is kind of funny and and some more and, and really i'm just going to be taking some footage and in some cases allowing uh that footage to speak for itself and you can write with that in the background so even if you aren't able to let's say get away to a particular place you can take that footage and have it run in the background and just write even if it's for five ten minutes a day if you make it a habit on a regular basis you'll find it'll really help you through different things um, writing i find is very essential so here's your first little writing thing if you want to follow along i'm gonna i'm gonna just do a quick little uh, snippet of mayflower beach and just uh for that time uh, go ahead and just free write some ideas that come to mind when you're watching that footage and just write and write and write and write uh you gotta make it a habit but if you do it pays back in spades so i'm gonna show you mayflower beach and then i'll show you some other things because there's a cape cod rail trail there's all kinds of things to explore and i'm going to try to tie it all together into this writer's retreat and i have a couple different tools that you can use to basically help tie together uh, writing moments into something that you can use creatively to help other people and to also uh, help gain your freedom in this crazy world we're in. So uh, here we go. Here's my thoughts.